Good morning, Good ma'am. morning, Bob. It's great to be here it's with you. It's great to have you here, too. Vacation's coming up for lots of folks, and uh, I heard through the grapevine we wanted to talk about common vacation scams. Yes, we want when Arkansans, hardworking Arkansans, take that time off and treat their family and go on vacation, we want them to be smart and not be taken advantage of. Some of the common scams that we are aware of include unsolicited phone calls saying, you've won this trip, you've won that prize. Well, unless you have signed up for something, then it's probably a scam. But some things that folks may not think about are if you are at a hotel, for example, and they say it, it includes Wi-Fi, some con artists will put in a, a name very close to the hotel's name to look make it look as though it's the same Wi-Fi that you're logging on to, so that way they can have access to whatever you log on to. Oh, wow. If you check your bank account while you're on vacation, they got it. then they could have access to that. So we really want to warn folks when you go on vacation, make sure you talk to the hotel, ensure what their Wi-Fi code is, so that way you only log on to their network. Another common scam on hotels includes individuals calling saying, claiming that they are the front desk Mm -hmm. and that there's been a mistake on your credit card and that you need to give them the credit card information again. Most of us would be drowsy, be at 2 a.m., we'd just give it to them. Mm -hmm. But do not do that. Go down to the front desk, confirm that it was actually the front desk that was needing that information. At 2 a.m., they're going to get a cussing on top of it. Well, that's true. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Just tell them the truth. Well, I I was in agreement with you, Mom. But, you know, you never think about those kind of Well, you don't because you're out, you're having a great time with your family. You're wanting to, you know, enjoy a in a state park or a national park and exactly. you've been canoeing all day, you're tired. And so we just want to protect people from those sort of common scams. There's always the individuals say, stating, I ran out of gas. Mm. You got 20 bucks or 40 bucks. We want you to be good Samaritans. We want you to be the wonderful giving Arkansans that we know people are. But meet that person at the gas station. Right. Fill the car up for them because they'll say, well, I'll give you a check when I get back home. And more likely right. than not, you will never see no that check. money. And we want to help people out. We want to be the, again, the good givers that we are. But just be be cautious. Put your thinking cap on when you're on vacation. You don't have to leave that at home, too. And just use good common sense. And But, again, just think about when you check into those hotels, ask them what their Internet code, their name is, so that way you will log on to the correct one. And if you get a phone call claiming to be from the front desk needing your credit card, be sure to walk down to the front desk. Lady, I need one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway. Well, those anyway. are just some common scams mm-hmm. that we've seen and preparing our Kansans for. If you go perhaps out of town, you may think about taxi drivers. You know, We don't have a large taxi network here in central Arkansas, but if you go to a large city or certainly overseas, they may say, I'm an off-duty taxi driver. Mm-hmm. Be cautious of that. Make sure that they are on a metered rate and that they are charging you appropriately. Because sometimes, you know, if we don't know the surrounding area, they could take us all the way around the world exactly. and charge us whatever they wanted. Exactly. So be savvy with those hard-earned dollars. Anything happening at the house we need to know about? Anything happening? Yeah, right. there's always something well, happening. Well, there's always something <laughs> happening. So we are, you any, know, any particular scams that Well, those, those are the ones that we are wanting our Kansans to think about as they go on vacations. We did put out a consumer alert yesterday, Bob, that I want parents and grandparents to think about. We all love looking at nieces, nephews, kids, grandkids on Facebook. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, there's a lot of bad guys out there that take your pictures of your family members that are innocent, sweet pictures, and they victimize your kids, even though they may be in their cute little tutu from a, a ballet performance or from a swim meet. Parents, we can't stress this enough. Be very careful what you post online because your child can become a victim because these predators will trade your innocent child's picture with another predator for something else. So, For more information on that, please come to our website, ArkansasAG.gov. That's ArkansasAG.gov. Give me a call at the AG's office at 800-482-8982. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. You all have a blessed Memorial Day weekend. You too. And all of us, let's remember why we celebrate this day. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for coming in this morning. Thank you. Okay. That's uh, our Attorney General, Ms. Leslie Rutledge.